One thing all of us racers have in common, we all want to be faster. It doesn't really matter what you drive, we're all limited by the same rules. The question is, do you know what those rules are? iRacing Faster is a regular series of videos that'll show you my training routines so we can learn to be faster together. I'm also going to show you highlights from my 2014 sim racing career to see if we can learn anything from the racers as well. If you're interested in following this series, you'll find all of the videos on my YouTube channel and if you want to see more videos just like this, please subscribe to the channel by clicking on the red subscribe button below this video. See you on the track. So what we're going to look at today is how we can get 100% out of the tyres and in order to do that we've got to kind of understand a little bit more about the tyre itself. Now I promise I'll make this as painless as possible, we'll try and make it as visual as we can. But the first thing that I want to do is, is those huge tyres that we see on the cars that we drive, I'd like you to take another look at them from the perspective of the amount of actual rubber that's touching the road. So these huge tyres only have a very very small amount of rubber on each of the wheels and that changes as you can see here as we go through various different cornering stages acceleration and braking stages and as the, mo the weight moves around in the car that amount of what we call contact patch is one very small and two changing all the time so watch this video very carefully get this view in your head so that you can see those very small pieces of rubber touching the road and then next time, as you accelerate hard, brake hard, and try and push the car through a corner, you can then start to appreciate the small amount of rubber that's providing all of the grip to give you that acceleration, braking, and cornering. Whenever we're braking, in order to get 100% of the efficiency out of both the tyres and the brakes, we're trying to do that with the steering wheel in a straight line. Now, without this getting too uh, deep and meaningful, if your tyres have got, say, a value of 10 to, that they can use to stop the car, if you want all 10 of those points to be used by the tyres to slow you down the best thing that you can do is to do that with the steering wheel perfectly straight. The second you start to want to use some of the tyres grip to get you to turn through a corner so that the, the car itself doesn't just slide straight off the track or just continue in a forward motion. You've got to take some of those 10 points that the tyres the got and give some of those 10 points to the ability to, to corner. So if we have a look at this in slow motion you should see that as the wheel turns, the amount that we can brake reduces in line with the amount of turning we want to do. Now it's relative to the total speed that the car is going, so it doesn't always apply, but this corner is a pretty good one. So straight line, 100% brake. The reason that we're not using more of this here this extra is because it takes you into the, the level where the um, anti-lock braking system of this particular car kicks in and it's actually more efficient to run the brakes at this between 70 and 80 percent than uh, than getting it into anti-lock brakes although you'll see some some very good drivers if you look at the replays will uh, will have this right up here that means that all 10 points of grip from the tires are being given to actually slowing the car down We start to turn the wheel, and as we start to turn the wheel, you'll see that this starts to come down. And basically what we're saying at this point is, is that we probably want 8 points out of the 10 to be used for the cornering ability of the tyres, and only 2 points out of 10 to be used to slow the car down. So we'll just look at that one more time.
so straight line full acceleration in theory at this point we're given 10 points to acceleration the reality is is that this car isn't strong enough to pull the skin off a rice pudding so it's probably only using about five or six of what the car can actually do if this was a much more powerful car then the points in terms of acceleration really come into play as well but it certainly doesn't in a car that's uh, as, as light as this one in terms of its engine power so full brake and straight line straight wheel 10 points to slow the car down as quickly as possible soon as I want to start and use some of those points for cornering I must come off the brake now I'm using 8, 9, all 10 points are now being used to help the car turn in as fast and as tight as the actual grip of the tyres will allow it also doing it this approach helps keep the car really really balanced as well so now we've got full acceleration like I say it doesn't quite apply with the acceleration because of the the lack of power of the engine so you can in this car get away with full gas and and trying to turn at the same time because this is only given this is only using maybe five or six of the ten points for acceleration again nicely using all of the exit which overlaps from what we talked about before another good corner here with uh, with balance now this is one of these corners where you, you've set your car up you're going at a particular speed through this area and you want to carry as much speed as you possibly can through the corner so in this case I'm actually going to get off the gas and give all 10 points to this section of the corner if you're still if you're still on the gas through here you're actually taking grip points away from uh, from this corner so if we watch this nice and slowly Again, trying to use as much of the track as I can use without forcing the car out uh, wider than it needs to be. Small brake, really just to help turn the car. So brake, turn the wheel. Now it's 10 points to the grip of the corner. And you really can, if you do this really nicely, this really tests um, the balance of the car, the balance of your setup. And now back onto the gas. And you'll see that as the car starts to gain some momentum and speed that I have to come off the steering in order to uh, to not cause a problem with acceleration straight wheel full gas now you'll notice that there's more gas here the reason for that is this is downhill and again I don't want to blind you with science but uh, there are certain situations where when, it, when a car is going up or down or when the, the corner slopes from one way to another that you have to react to that but we'll cover that in, uh, in other sessions again sticking with the basics f uh, 10 points for braking straight line when I need to start borrowing some steering I've got to give some to the uh, to the corner so now I'm giving 10 points to the corner if we look at it slightly slower okay so downhill slightly more brake than before perfectly straight steering wheel you see the steering wheel starts to turn Okay, so we're now starting the turn in for the corner and you can see instantly the gas is coming off at the same time no gas no accelerator that means all 10 points are being used to grip the car through the corner which means that I can take more speed through the corner and it also means that the car will be more balanced through the corner so it's win-win So let's finish off this week's episode with um, a real lap around Okiyama full and let's see the real forces which are going through those tyres. The graph that you can see at the bottom of the screen, we've divided it up in the same way that we've discussed today. So you can see the cornering forces on a tyre, 
accelerating forces on the tyre and the braking forces on the tyre. Um, where the actual word itself with the arrow is, is where you're looking at the 10 out of 10 value that we talked about. And anything in between is obviously a mixture of cornering, accelerating and braking. The crosshair is going to show you exactly where we are on this particular stage of the lap and you can see with the steering wheel, brake and accelerator what kind of uh, forces the driver is trying to put into the, the car at that particular stage. So as we pick the lap up coming into the uh, hard uh, right hander you should see 10 out of 10 braking so the, cur the cursor is right towards the braking area and very quickly you can see it running along the outer edge between braking and cornering. We're now into an acceleration phase where we're doing acceleration and cornering at the same time and as we straighten out the wheel you can see it starts to centre more and more towards just acceleration. So we're now onto the back straight of the lap, pretty much accelerating with a small you know, 0.5% um, uh, cornering forces being used. That could be due to the, um, the camber, the slope of the road. It could be very, very small changes in, uh, in steering which are causing that. But pretty much accelerating at this stage and we're coming up to a hard braking zone. So watch it go down the centre towards full 10 out of 10 braking and then switch into braking and cornering. We're now into full cornering. Starting to add acceleration and cornering. And pure acceleration into acceleration and cornering through the other side. Pretty much 100% cornering now. Starting to mix cornering and acceleration. Coming into another corner, so we're heading towards 100% cornering. Adding acceleration and cornering. Straightening everything up, so we're heading towards the centre of the, uh, the graph again. So now we're purely accelerating. Coming up towards a braking zone, so again braking and cornering this time, so a different kind of corner. Full cornering, cornering and acceleration. More acceleration. Moving towards the right-hander, so we're cornering. Getting onto the gas. Full acceleration as we come out and the wheel centers up. Heading towards a fast right-hander. And then coming up to the last corner on the track. Brake and corner. Accelerate as quickly as possible. And that's exactly what we've been talking about. That's the 10 points of, um, of grip that the, ca the tyre can offer to either acceleration, braking or cornering. And that's shown in a live instance throughout a lap. So what I'd like you to start thinking about now is, is that braking in a straight line is the fastest and shortest way to stop the car and when it comes to cornering that you must come off the brake in order to give some of those braking points to cornering so that you can actually use the tyre at its most efficient way to get through the corner as fast as you possibly can.